Hey there, Cutie and Cosplay here, wishing you a happy Halloween! Today's my first, from what I can remember, first official Halloween that I actually acknowledge Halloween and do something for it. Um, first Halloween video. Um, just think of it as Cutie Halloween or, or Cutie Ween. Wait. Maybe I don't like that one so much. But anyway, um, getting into the Halloween spirit. Um, first of all, I hope you're all having a lovely Halloween and enjoying yourselves, or you have one. Um, and I thought, I was trying to think of video ideas, and I thought, what better idea than game over screens and deaths? So I'm going to be talking about that in my witch outfit. If the hat comes off later on don't worry about it it'll just be because it tried to fall off 10 million times um, and if i keep it on then i'll just have to make a blooper video dedicated only to this hat falling off so we don't want that if the hat is missing that's why all right let's get into it <laughs> In this video, I'm going to share a few game over screens and deaths um, that just, they always stuck with me, either because I still find them funny or they scared me when I was little. Um, so yeah, this is not a spoiler video with actual story character deaths, just keep that in mind. I won't spoil anything. I am going to try to go at a faster pace during this video, so I won't really touch upon each game uh, too much. And also I'm going to show more retro games since I'm just kind of in a retro mood. So let's get started. Alright, first game over screen will be from Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Um, I used to play this game all the time and it's very difficult. So I saw this game over screen many times. <laughs> Altered Beast. Uh, I really love the way the characters die in this game. It just never fails to make me laugh with how funny the voice sounds when you get hit or lose a life and just just even the various noises in this game are so great. I always always love the little power up. It's just so good. Power up. Zombie Revenge. This game has just a ton of amazing death noises, um, but there's just one that, that never ever left my brain once I saw it. The way that this character says his line and how funny his face looks while he's transforming, I just love it. Are you alright? This place is gonna explode in three minutes! What happened here? Conker's Bad Fur Day. This one has some funny and honestly pretty brutal deaths, um, but I'll just show one. Space Harrier. I love the scream this character makes every time he gets hit. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Ghosts and Goblins. This one scared the crap out of me. I liked the game as a kid, but I just absolutely hated the noise that plays when you die. Power Stone 2. Just for some reason, I, I always like this countdown to the game over screen. I didn't get to see it too often though, since I was pretty good at the game. Vector Man. 
I will never forget the first time I played Vector Man and I died for the first time and how he just blows up and that noise he makes always freaks me out. <laughs> Doom. This one, of course, is a classic. Basically, the death noises that all the monsters make are 10 out of 10, with Doom Guy's scream being the best, and you know, we can't forget about, can't forget about Meatball. Breath of the Wild, the music that they play every time you die is just, it's gold. Include just paired with some of the ragdoll physics sometimes when you die. Hilarious. <laughs> Skyrim, of course, Skyrim. The image of a giant just sending a player into the atmosphere is iconic, ridiculously iconic. Just there's so many funny ragdoll deaths from this game. Crash Bandicoot. I have randomly said, whoa, in the crash tone so many times and just, I will continue to do it till the day I die. Such an iconic death sound. <laughs> Jet Set Radio. This one I actually kind of despise. Some of the later levels are really difficult and I have just, I'm too familiar with this. It's game over screen. Mega Man X. I really love the animation and noise of the X games when X or Zero dies. It just, it looks and sounds so cool to me, with my favorite being from X4. <laughs> Earthworm Jim. I always love this game over screen. The music that plays is so happy and fun. It just, it made losing a continue feel a little less bad. Metal Gear, everyone knows this one. Snake, what happened? Snake, Snake! Resident Evil 4, Leon's, no. When Ashley dies, followed by the music, just always cracks me up, so good. Viva Pinata. Okay, so this one, they don't really die, and nor is it a game over necessarily, but I love the sounds and the noises that are made when a pinata is broken. Um, I did have this, I had this like glitched pinata duck in my little, little habitat, and they just kept flying around for like two whole minutes, and then for some reason, they were able to land in a pond, and the minute they landed, they just randomly blew up, and it just killed me. I was dying of laughter. The Just the explosion of candy and the yay! And this death is so terrible and so great. <laughs> and last but not least, Seaman. Okay, so I, I saved the best for last with this one. Um, this one just always disturbed me and honestly made me feel sad. Um, so when the seamen start to grow, they have to like feed on each other to survive and, and just seeing this as a kid really shocked me and was just kind of a painful reminder of like 
when my real fish would die, or just kind of how it is in the world. I don't know, it was a lot... pretty morbid. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> ate it, ate it. And with that, I would like to say Happy Halloween again. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments if you had any game over screens that you really enjoyed or remember from childhood or just still think are funny to this day. Anything like that. I love to hear it all. And I hope that you guys have a really 